First and foremost, I want to thank the people of New Hampshire for giving me the extraordinary opportunity to serve them. It was a sweeping display of gratitude in which Senator Kelly Ayotte thanked everyone from her family and staff to the Capitol Police, but she reserved most of her time for the voters who put her there. True to the nature of our great state, they have never been shy about letting me know what's on their minds. Whether it was at one of the 50 town hall meetings we held or in the grocery aisle at the market basket. Ayon says one of the most rewarding aspects of the last six years was standing up for the men and women of the armed forces. Fittingly, it was a veteran who was among those who followed Ayotte to the floor. Senator Ayotte has approached every issue candidly and pragmatically. Sometimes and that's something that is all too often lacking in this politics today. Senator Jean Shaheen also thanked Ayotte for her service in Washington. The Democrats saying while they often disagreed, they were never disagreeable. Over the last six years, Senator Ayotte has earned respect on both sides of the aisle in this body and in New Hampshire. Ayotte called her term in the Senate the honor of a lifetime, just before offering one final thanks. Mr. President, I thank you and I yield the floor. All right, as for Ayotte's future, that remains unclear, but following the election, she said whatever she decides to do next, she will continue to serve New Hampshire in any capacity that she can. Reporting live, Josh McKelvin, WMUR News 9.